Hello everybody, welcome back to the red one. This is my Manchester United versus Everton match preview, which kicks off tomorrow at 8pm. So let's get started now with the latest squad news. So Cavani is fit to play after that little knock that he got on his ankle from Southampton. Ollie said that he's fit enough to play. So he's definitely won, if not the first name on the team sheet for me, the way he's been playing and the way he just brings a different energy to the team. Um, Eric Bailly is a doubt after his little niggles that he's been getting. And with Eric Bailly, he normally does only play one game and then has about five to ten games out. So that's just kind of the norm with Eric Bailly and Phil Jones is out as normal. But other than that, the rest of us and our squad are good to go, which is good news for Oli that the injuries are very small in terms of some other teams, basically. So that's the latest for the squad news in terms of injuries and that for the game. My predicted lineup, starting with the goalkeeper, is David De Gea in net, left back Luke Shaw, two centre backs Maguire and Lindelof, right back Aaron Wan Bissaka, the two midfielders Pogba and McTominay, on the left side be Rashford, in the middle Bruno and on the right. Mason Greenwood and up top Cavani definitely for me Cavani has to start most games for us he brings a different energy a different direction to the team and I'd bring Martial, and Martial on at a later date in the game if Cavani is tiring or something like that I just think that Cavani brings more and is a more of an out and out attacker than Martial like I don't even really think Martial's best position is there. I think his best position is on the left. So I'd definitely be starting him over Martial. And Martial has been pretty under par lately as well. Apart from the last game where he managed to score two goals. So I hope that's given him some confidence. And if he wants to play an attack and Manchester United like him in attack, then hopefully that's given him the confidence to start putting the ball in the back of the net. Because that's what he needs to start doing if he wants to, for me, take his players back from Cavani. Because Cavani's got that on the lock and key for now um, and hopefully so this is just this is a game another game every game for Manchester United now I've said before in previous videos if we are really searching for this title every game is our must win game for Manchester United we cannot afford to slip up while City are doing so well because Liverpool have slipped up again 1-0 to Brighton that puts us four points ahead of Liverpool and we play again tomorrow, Everton. So we really, between us and City, we've got a bit of a chance to get away from the rest. But I know Leicester are close as well. And even Everton are close. If they win us and then win their next game, they make it the same amount of games. They've got 42 points as well. So if Everton would beat us, they're, they're, they're climbing as well. So they're not a bad team. They're not Everton. And they have had some poor results. But we have. City have. Liverpool have. So it's pretty much open season at the minute, but I definitely do think it's tipped towards City's favour at the minute, and that's why we need to keep on winning. We need to keep on pushing. We can't afford another Sheffield. So that's why my predicted score is 3 1 to United. That's what I'm going for. 3 1 goals from Bruno Cavani and Mason Greenwood. Predicted goal scorers. Um, and let's just yeah, let's let's hope we can get this free one in. Like I said, nine 0 Southampton game that should put confidence straight back into the team from the bit of a before bit of a poor week that we had before previously. We should definitely be hype over that, and I'd be very shocked if we got anything but a win against Southampton just because of that result. Like that, that's a big result. That's a big confidence booster for the team, and hopefully we can push on. Evans, not an easy game. It's not like you're playing a lower league team or somebody it's a hard game they're in the premier league they've been in the premier league for a long time it's not an easy game so we do need to be fully concentrated we need all that confidence and we need to get the three points and we need to carry on getting our three points and wait for the others to slip up so we can regain where we should be so that is it for my match reaction let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the score or maybe who you would start in your lineup rather than mine. Also, 
please if you are another fan please get involved if you're never a fan please get involved let me know what you think the score will be let me know how you think Everton will do at Old Trafford tomorrow please get involved so that is it from me I will see you on the match reaction hopefully with a smile on my face and a big three points thank you bye bye